Hi, it's Ola from the Soma team. Welcome to our new video on Webflow and Wist, a great combo for a full stack web app development process. Today, we will dive in web app development, walk through some real life examples of websites, and the learning curve associated with Wist. Let's get started. Wist offers you to use Webflow to create UI that seamlessly integrates with the backend. It allows you to handle data management, user authentication, and much more. The REST API enables smooth communication between the front-end and back-end, allowing you to fetch and update data dynamically. Can't believe that? Let's take a glimpse at real-life examples built with WIST. So now let's take a precise look at some examples. Here we have World Class. It's an application that helps you to book uh, accommodation all around the US, so you can explore some luxury accommodation. Also, you can sign in and see what you have booked and all the needed details. Here we can find some simple functionality like search and filtration. So here we go. Here we can like. It's a function that is unavailable in Webflow natively. Uh -huh. Here we can select the date. Uh, take a look at the property we're watching. We'll, we are looking. Check out some similar properties. And generally just book the property you like. So we have a dashboard, login, sign up, functionality. And that's it. So the next one is my scholarly. It is built by students for students. And generally it's a AI based application that helps you to write essay, like review essays, simplify complex topics, create quizzes. Basically it works like a tutor, um, but your tutor is artificial intelligence. Here you can also visit the dashboard. I'm already signed in, so here we can just start writing and work with it. Also, we have Recipe Factory. It is also based on ChatGPT, and here it generates recipes for you to cook, so you can try it out. And also, this app is Guy Quest. Uh, it takes your ikigai, which means uh, the purpose of your life. It generates uh, some options for you to try out based on what you love to do, what you're good at, what you get paid for, and so on and so on. So I pre-filled it before our taking this video. And now it calculates my ikigai. This one is also working. Uh, based on AI, and this pretty fun to use. Hmm? Yeah, so here we have some Ikigai AI results, like being eco-friendly travelista, web development and entrepreneur, and also some information about it. So you can here retry results, start new tests, change something, some kind, some fun stuff to do around something to fool with hmm? and that's it if you want more of funny different applications you can just so all of those examples were taken from a WIST discord community and were showcased by WIST before so if you want more of them just follow the link below and our page for more updates all these sites are shared in WIST discord community so follow the link and our page for more inspiration as with any new tool, there is a learning curve associated with Webflow and WIST, but both platforms provide extensive documentation, tutorials and a supportive community to help you along the way. Today we will walk through an official WIST tutorial. Taking a look at WIST, here we have some resources that will help us get into it. Learning Curve and Intelligent Center. Intelligent Center displays you a small guide on how to use it and what it contains. So there is a dashboard with navigation 
with a beginner learning path with some beginner lessons and also a beginner project. So there is only one here. It is a weather app that is built with help of AI. And you can see the whole small course built about this project and some clonable uh, items to easier and faster learn how to develop it. Also, there is advanced learning path, advanced lessons and some projects. Here we have three of them. Uh, the most advanced one is uh, a bulk e-commerce store built with Xano and you can clone it and um, like rebuild it step by step with help of uh, the course. Also you have some GS documentation, uh, some documentation is still going to be uploaded later, uh, some general questions, FAQs, so there is just enough uh, resources to help you to get into WIST really fast. Yeah, also there is a debugging uh, application, so it really helps you out if you're not quite familiar with backend and uh, it might really help you with troubleshooting in here. So let's take a look at Maya, WIST clonable project, which is built with Xano. So let's take a look from the Webflow end, from front end. Here we just have a lot of pages pre-built, like home, authorization pages, supplier, customer. In this project we have uh, several dashboards for administrator and for user, and also a lot of different functionality that e-commerce actually needs. And if we log in in WIST and take a look at our WIST project connected with uh, Webflow, so basically you uh, paste in uh, a code snippet that connects your uh, e-commerce, uh, oh, that connects your Webflow project with your WIST project. So if you take uh, a look at Webflow, you will find uh, some attributes that connect uh, your items, your fields uh, from Webflow to WIST, so you can manipulate them inside the WIST project and use them to connect APIs and uh, create this collaboration of front and back end. So here in, in uh, WIST you have a uh, few sections for different uh, like kinds of activity. For example, we have actions and we apply uh, the, here we can apply different logic and apply actions to our attributes from the webflow. Here we can uh, add states, um, create some cookies if we need uh, them for authorization. Uh, so here we have we can uh, take our data in and out, create uh, some logical connections, uh, set filtering, set signing in, set loading, uh, set our card functionality, and much, much more. To conclude, Webflow and Waste are a dynamic duo that enables you to create beautiful and functional web apps from start to finish. Remember, practice and experimentation will help you to master these tools. And for now, follow our page and like this video to get more up-to-date content about Webflow and no-code development. See you next week!